Sonagachi is the largest sex district in Kolkata, India. Each day, more than 10,000 women stand in line to sell their bodies. Some enter the world of human trafficking so their families can eat, or because poverty has left them with no other option. These images and stories change the lives of volunteers Lady Natasha Rufus Isaacs and Lavinia Brennan back in 2009. A lot of the local slum, slum girls would come to this really small production unit in the afternoons, but that was so that, you know, they wouldn't be abused in the afternoon by the men sort of in, in their village. We were teaching them how to kind of sew and, and taught them very basic skills. Um, so it was from there that we had the idea then to set up the business. We both, we, we love fashion, we love dresses, we love dressing up. And sort of working in the production unit in the afternoons, we realised that actually it would be amazing to help teach women skills that then, you know, would make them employable or to help them live a sort of sustainable alternative livelihood. Um, and I think as two girls, we thought, <laughs> let's go into fashion. And that they did, starting an ethical fashion label that's making a worldwide name for itself, thanks in part to one major high-profile customer, Kate Middleton, Duchess of Cambridge. Beulah London customers come in looking for an outfit that will make them look and feel beautiful. They leave with a purchase that's making a difference. When we sort of first started the company, um, the vision was to have the women involved in the whole of the production. But as we sort of grow, we realized that that wasn't quite possible given their skill set. Um, and if you can imagine, the average age of a girl being trafficked is 13. So there's a lot of healing that has to go on before she can sort of go into employment. Um, so we decided to start small and um, partner up with, with co companies or businesses that were working on the ground with women who've been trafficked, um, so like Freeset. The organization known as Freeset works to help Indian women escape the sex trade. They not only teach useful skills, but empowerment as well. <laughs> Rufus Isaacs and Brennan partner with Freeset. Customers can purchase Beulah canvas bags, which are produced directly by former trafficking victims. They've also started the Beulah Trust, which provides money for women to learn skills like embroidery. From next season as well, we'll have the embroidery that we want to have on every single piece. So then every single piece has a story in a way and has had like the hand of the woman make, make and embroider. The embroidery will be the Beulah logo, two bees in the shape of a butterfly. The butterfly effect, so the idea of, of one small um, one small thing having a large effect or one small change having a large effect elsewhere. And I suppose that also relates back to Beulah and what Beulah stands for in the Bible. It talks about coming out of a place of darkness into freedom. So the concept of the butterfly becoming something beautiful out of darkness. So. The women who originally inspired these beautiful dresses continue to be at the heart of every design. Every theme also relates slightly to the charity side. Last season's design was Kintsugi, a type of Japanese pottery. It's the concept of um, a piece of pottery being broken and then put back together with gold kind of liqueur. So the idea that the piece is more beautiful for having been broken. Mm. So we had kind of within the collection, we had these like beautiful kind of um, prints with this like gold crack in it. One day, each Beulah London piece will carry the touch of a woman they're working to save. Until then, you can be sure that every purchase still makes a difference. If someone buys into the brand, then obviously that's helping us as a brand grow. And that's when we really feel like we can have a big impact. It's a company with a cause, and they're creating a beautiful change, one stitch at a time. Caitlin Burke, CBN News, London.